Okay, guys, here we go. Number two. So we got a vertical rope AB has its end B attached to the top of a scale pan. So here's the scale pan and it's connected over there. The scale pan has mass 0 0.5 kg and carries a brick of mass 1.5 kg. So effectively, the total weight so far, we, as we know, is 2 kg or 2 times g. Now, the scale pan is raised vertically upwards with constant acceleration 0 0.5. So let's go ahead and note it over here. And oh yeah, just a quick note, there was tension over here too on this rope. Now, the rope is actually modeled as a light ex inextensible string. So what do we have to do? So A, find the tension in the rope AB. All right, that's, that's quite straight. This is just simply resolving upwards following the line of acceleration. So again, just using F equals MA. So the resultant force would be, looking upwards, would be tension minus 2G. So T minus 2G equals the mass, which is 2 times acceleration, 0 0.5. That's it. And now you just make T the subject, so plus 2G across. So we're going to have 2 times 0 0.5 plus 2G, and this should give us 20.6 newtons. Now, before I clarify for part B, you, you probably figured why I just combined it. Well, in this kind of question, you could do it separately, but because we were resolving the whole system, you could just um, combine it in total. Now, if we if it, now if we look at part B, it's telling us to find the magnitude of the force exerted on the scale pan by the brick. So we're talking now, in particular, a specific resulting force coming off the brick. And if we had to just separate this, just to understand it more clearly, because this is the kind of question that just looks a bit strange, but really it's easy. If we focus on the brick, we said that the brick was actually just 1.5 g, and we can just just assume, of course, like every other like force that there's there's a type of resultant force coming out perpendicular to the ground. Now, just imagine this moving upwards. Okay, so just imagine the entire scale pan is lifting us up. So effectively, this brick is actually moving up by um, a certain acceleration. So that's what they want. So all they really want us to do is simply resolve the inside of the of the scale of the scale pan. That's it. So doing the same method using F equals MA, we're going to have R minus 1.5G. So let me get my blue pen. So R minus 1.5G. And this will equal um, 1.5A. Okay. Oh, yeah. And A is, of course, um, 0.5. And that's it. Really, that's it, guys. So therefore, just solving for R, and you should get about 15.5 newtons. Yeah, that's it. I mean, I hope this helped and um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.